Everybody, it's Ox Bigley, and I am doing the Doritos Roulette. Uh, for those who do not know, there is, uh, some people do this uh, like hot wings, they'll set out a bunch of them, one's like super spacey. Uh, they kind of did that with these, except for they're just kind of mixed between super spicy ones and uh, I think it's a regular nacho cheese flavor. It does say, attention, that's some spicy stuff right there. Um, so some chips are very hot. I I think I mentioned in another video I want to do the one chip challenge because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, and I uh, uh, some of these look a little more orange than others. Uh, take a look right there. They did kind of smell stale, but I, I've never really smelled Doritos before, so that, maybe that's how it always smells. That kind of corn stank. Anyway, um, so in lieu of me being able to find the one chip challenge, I am going to be doing this. So, they don't really smell of anything, so they smell like regular ones. So, I don't have anything to drink here. Um, may get an assistant to grab me a soda, but, uh, I, I don't want to drink anything. I want to uh, experience the pain. So here we go. That one is a little spicy. I'm looking to get some like some uber spice up in here, so hey, <laughs> that is um, yeah, wow, that is really the first one I had. It kind of just kind of like slow burn, yeah. This is kind of like, you know, when the little fireworks go, you know. This one, uh, this was full, like, your mouth up kind of thing. Um, Flavor-wise, don't really have too much of a flavor outside of, like, the nacho cheese to it, so. But it, it, it's, a, it's a spiciness that is going away. So I don't know how they did that. It kind of just shows up, and so so the spike is uh, rather rather uh, peakish. It's got a, a sharp peak to it. To you know, like normal, and then ah, and then you go back down, and then you know. So the, there's the plateau doesn't last as long. There you go. Uh, so I'm gonna eat some more of these because dang it, I wanna I wanna feel the burn. Watch, we get like an entire bag of nothing but the hot water. <laughs> so I put a handful. Being suggested to put an entire handful in my mouth, but I mean, that usually looks like a regular Smig and Dorito. It doesn't really. Nothing on it says, hey, this is super spicy. It's when that little bit of saliva that has the heat gets like right in the part of your back and throat. <clears throat> Let me eat this entire bag right here, right now. As you can tell, I got another spicy one. <clears throat> it's the back of the throat thing. That's what's killed me more than anything else. I do feel, first of all, this eye is watering up. Again, back of the throat issue. But around my eyes, I was feeling sort of like the heat sweats. And I'm slightly getting the top of the head, but not, not, not as much as like a good medium spice curry. Now, I will say this. 
I've seen people with crunchies up in like a food processor and using the bread stuff. Chicken. Do some smegging chicken with these things. Maybe some wings. That'll be good. Maybe I need to send an email to Cold Blue about that. Yeah, I mean, this was. We're going on five minutes. Let me eat this entire thing here because I'm an idiot, but it's tolerable. Now, if I had, if I had, if I was able to pick out which ones were, were hot out of them and just eat them straight, one right after another, like a total gauntlet of it, yeah, I'd probably have it a lot, but a lot worse than I am now. I wouldn't wear in my mouth. <laughs> The worst thing I ever had heat wise. Two things. Number one, if I don't have to go order here. First one was I tried to be intelligent. For the record, that's never suited me. <laughs> never served me well. But I try I because I, I learned something on TV. That said all oh, the spice and stuff like that of the pepper is in the stems and the seeds. So I'm like, okay with a bunch of friends at an Applebee's and someone ordered a fajita with, they had a, a, uh, a garnish of a, uh, of a jalapeno. And I figured if I just bite the tip, just the, the outer skin of it, no problem. <laughs> no. First of all, this is before my food came. The the flame that was in my mouth was such to where some of you who eat spicy foods, you, you know this, that uh, spice heat is it can, can be uh, complicated by temperature heat. I could not eat my food. I, try, I, asked, the, I asked the people there at water for, for uh, Applebee's for freaking milk, and they gave me, like, it looked like soapy water. It, it must have been like 1% or some crap because they didn't have any proper milk. So, second time, there was a place that no longer exists uh, in Georgia that had what they called the Hellhound Challenge. They were a hot dog place and they had this super spicy uh, sauce they would put on the chili dogs. And I took a little bit, just dip my finger. Uh, boom, man. That was that was bad. So I couldn't even imagine. I never I didn't take the challenge. I would have done um, but yeah, no, you're supposed to eat like three of those things and like keep it down for 15 minutes or something. Yeah. Uh, I've never had the hiccups though. I don't know, some people get hiccups and eat like some pretty incredibly spicy things. This is not too bad. I mean, it's just it's got good sharp spice to it, but yeah. Um, what I would say, yeah, I mean, I, all right. Full disclosure, I saw Brad Jones' video about these. I have seen these before he did the video, but this kind of that kind of made me interested in, I'm not gonna eat the rest of it right now. Um but I'm gonna echo what he said. Put them in a regular uh, <laughs> a regular uh, Doritos bag and, and you know it's kind of pass around at work or something like that. Be mindful. Because uh, I had a, a boss at a, one of my previous jobs who could not, I mean, medically could not eat spicy foods. He was allergic. And everybody just thought he didn't like spicy foods. So they actually tricked him into eating some, uh, some like hot salsa one time. He had to rush home to uh, take medicine. So he would die. <laughs> so be mindful if you're going to play playing some people. Uh, know that they can handle it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you might, might be responsible for someone's death. And that's never fun. All right. Uh, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt and it's just fun. But if, you know, if it goes into death, then no, no more fun. So. All right. That was the Doritos roulette. Uh, you want to see me eat any more uh, hot and spicy things or anything else like that, uh, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.